time at sea looking at the weather and you'd look at it consciously and unconsciously mm. so I think uh, this this whole uh, experience of, of understanding of the, the severity of our, our predicament was happening unconsciously for me a long time ago when I was watching the storms become more unpredictable and then watching the die off of the, the ocean life mm. I used to see heaps and heaps of albatross, and in the last two ocean trips I did, ocean voyages I did, I didn't see any albatross. And we're, we're losing them to a combination of lack of food in the ocean yeah. and longlining. Mm-hmm. So, you know, our, our oceans are suffering from this perfect storm where they're, they're beca- becoming hypoxic, where there's a lack of oxygen in them, mm-hmm. and we've got these massive dead zones that are showing up all over the planet. And then we've got incredible quantities of pollution going into into the oceans. Millions or probably yeah, hundreds of millions of tons of plastic. Mm. And then the the ocean acts like a battery where it is the it is the biggest uh, carbon sink. So ni- over ninety percent of the heating that is that we're emitting is going into the oceans. Only eight eight to ten percent of it is going into the atmosphere. But the problem is now is that the oceans are, re- are reaching a, a level of saturation, mm. both in terms of their heating and, and, and in um, carbonate saturation. So their ability to absorb is decreasing, which means that more and more of this is going into the atmosphere. 